Special night indeed. When we slide down Route 66 to Spencerville, where the Bearcats were perfect in 2015, aside from two meetings. One to end the regular season, the other in Week 11, both against rival Delphish Jefferson. Bearcats led the league in rushing, garnering more than 400 yards on the ground a contest, and they hope to keep that ground game going in 2016. We've got three uh, starting running backs that return, uh, Calvin Wilson, senior, Keaton Lott, senior, and uh, Chris Picker, a junior. All of them combined last year, they ran for about 1,400 yards together. Um, so, you know, we lose that Goki, uh, but we feel like with those three guys, uh, you know, we've got a nice, nice group of backs to run behind a very big and physical offensive line. It's looking pretty good. We got some guys coming back, but we also lost a couple guys. But with the seniors leading the way, I think, I think we'll be just as good as we have been in the past couple of years. With the line we have back, I think we'll be pretty experienced and good. Each Thursday at the end of practice, Coach Zerby shares something about the team's theme for the year, what it means to be uncommon. You know, I read a book by Tony Dungy uh, about seven years ago. Um, really spoke to me in life uh, how, you know, we, we have to train our, our men to be men. It's not always learned. And, um, you know, that's it's one of the things that we want to focus on. And I think that it starts with football, obviously, but it, it bleeds into other areas of life, like being a good son, um, someday being a, you know, a good husband, uh, eventually being a good dad, and um, making a positive impact in your community that one person can, can be uncommon, cannot be the common person, and, and make a huge impact on, on their not only their community, but their families and the people around them as well. Coach Irby wants us to be doing things that are not the average. So I just uncommon means to overcome things. It just means like distance yourself from what other people are doing and go the extra step. Because he, like you heard him say, he said, this, we live in a common world and if you don't want to be average, you got to do the uncommon stuff. I love these guys as football players, no doubt, but I love them as young men more. And um, we feel like it's, a, it's as valuable uh, as coaching is as teaching uh, to as the game of life. And this summer, several of the players both helped with the FCA Legends football camp at Elida and attended the Legends of Northwest Ohio banquet. It just showed me how uh, people around here, like a lot of successful people, makes you a little motivated, uh, gives you more drive. And being around those people just it puts you in a good way. I learned a lot more about God than I knew before, and I, and I really enjoyed it. I'd love to come back again to it. Um, I loved working with the kids. They were nice, and the banquet was awesome to meet all them. Uh, Lima area stars and I would love to do it again.